For many years, the global technology scene seemed set in stone. The West was clearly on top, and China, despite its huge manufacturing power, was still dependent on Western technology for the most advanced computer chips. But under this calm surface, a quiet war was being fought, not with guns, but with silicon chips. Now, a bold new challenge is coming from the East. What if the foundations of global tech power aren't just changing, but being permanently broken? What if what was hidden is now clear and a new silicon world is here, where we uncover the silent battles shaping our future? Today, we dive into a story bigger than any headline, a story about SMIC's rise as a silicon killer and Huawei's clear refusal to bow to the West. This is not just business competition. It's about chip making, global power, and the future of technology itself. For years, China was stuck in a clear role. Even with its manufacturing strength, it had to rely on Western technology to build the most advanced chips. Sanctions were designed to keep this reliance in place and slow China's progress. But what if these restrictions became a spark that lit a new, bold era? We will look at the surprising progress made by Chinese tech companies, especially SMIC's breakthroughs and Huawei's daring moves, which together are rewriting the rules of this quiet tech war. The effects on global supply chains and digital independence are huge. Before we reveal the facts, please like this video if you want to learn more about the deeper forces behind global power. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our important updates. Sharing this video helps us bring these critical truths to a wider audience. Let's start with the heart of this story. Huawei used to be a giant in smartphones and 5G technology, but U.S. sanctions hit them hard. They lost access to the most advanced chip designs and tools. Experts said Huawei might fall apart, maybe even disappear from the high-end market. But new reports from late 2024 and early 2025 show something very different. Instead of falling, Huawei went all-in on becoming self-reliant. This wasn't just about finding new suppliers. It was about huge investments in their own chip design and building a whole new tech ecosystem. The challenges they faced seemed to push them to innovate even faster. Now, we see signs of Huawei bouncing back, especially in China, powered by homegrown technology. The real question isn't whether Huawei was affected, but how it turned a tough situation into a chance to build true independence. It's a quiet but strong message. Huawei will keep going no matter the pressure. At the center of Huawei's comeback is SMIC, China's biggest and most advanced chip factory. For years, experts thought SMIC was far behind leaders like TSMC, especially because they couldn't get the crucial EUV lithography machines needed for making the smallest, most advanced chips. U.S. export rules blocked these tools, but recent evidence has shocked the chip world. Despite not having EUV machines, SMIC has managed to produce large volumes of 5 nanometer chips and even 3 nanometer chips. This was surprising and went against what many experts expected. While questions remain about how efficient and cheap these chips are compared to the world's best, the fact that SMIC can make them using older but very complex technology is a huge leap forward. This proves China can build advanced chips without forbidden Western tools. This is not just a business win. It's a major strategic success in the chip battle of 2025, showing that China has real independent chip-making power. It means China's digital dragon is learning to breathe fire on its own. But independence doesn't stop at hardware. Huawei's own software ecosystem is another key part. Harmony OS, their operating system, was once dismissed as just a copy of Android. But the newest version, Harmony OS 6.0 and its pure kernel version called Harmony OS Next, have changed everything. Reports from mid-2025 say it's growing fast in China. Harmony OS has taken a bigger share of the market from older giants. More importantly, Harmony OS Next is completely separate from Android. It doesn't have any Android code anymore. This is a big break, making it a fully independent Chinese software system. The number of developers making apps for Harmony OS has exploded, creating a strong ecosystem that runs on phones, watches, smart home devices, and even cars. This is a clear, smart move to cut dependence on foreign software and build a whole new digital world controlled by China. Huawei's no to Western software dominance is not just words, it's a strong reality. China's tech ambitions go even further than today's chips and software. While the world is still rolling out 5G, China is already pushing hard into 6G. From early to mid-2025, Chinese companies and researchers have announced big breakthroughs in 6G core technologies like 
terahertz communication, combining sensing with communication, and adding smart AI right at the network's edge. This isn't just faster internet, it's a foundation for totally new things like holographic calls, full virtual reality, and AI everywhere. China wants to lead 6G development, setting the global standards and building the networks of the future. This means digital infrastructure could soon be built on Chinese innovation, helping China keep its tech independence and expand its global reach. It's a long-term plan to say no to relying on others for the basics of communication. Making chips is one thing, but building the super complex machines to make those chips is another. For years, China's chip industry depended on specialized equipment from companies like ASML and Applied Materials. This was a weak spot that sanctions targeted. But a quieter revolution is happening in China's chip equipment industry. Backed by huge government investment and national goals, Chinese companies are making big progress on their own advanced tools. Reports from 2024 and 2025 show strong progress on key machines like etching tools, deposition systems, and even lithography machines. They still face big challenges matching the world's best EUV machines, but they are quickly replacing foreign tools in older processes. This isn't small change. It's a steady breaking down of all foreign dependence in chip making, helping China build a fully self-sufficient manufacturing system. While phones often grab headlines, Huawei's biggest focus now is enterprise tech. Facing heavy pressure in smartphones, they have put more effort into cloud computing, digital power, smart automotive tech, and other business solutions. Their 2024 and early 2025 reports show success here. Huawei Cloud is growing fast, serving many businesses across Asia and beyond. Their smart car tech, including smart cockpits and self-driving software, not only grew in China but made a profit in 2024. This broad strategy embeds Huawei's tech deep into industries, smart cities, and important infrastructure. It creates steady income and uses their strengths in connectivity and AI without relying on consumer devices, which are more vulnerable to sanctions. This shows how Chinese tech companies are building strong resilience and a path to independence. The combined progress of SMIC's chip making, Huawei's smart moves, and China's push for tech self-sufficiency is changing the global chip market. For decades, the West, especially the U.S., dominated chip design, equipment, and manufacturing. But recent reports show this is shifting. China's fast progress in 5 nm and 3 nm chip production, growing domestic equipment capabilities, and strong local market are reshaping the industry. The era when China had to rely almost completely on foreign chip factories for critical uses, especially in national security, is clearly ending. This doesn't mean total isolation but it greatly reduces China's vulnerabilities. The chip battle of 2025 is about technology and power. China's steady march toward independence means the East-West tech story is no longer a simple ranking, but a complex, interlinked, yet fiercely independent global system. The big question has always been, can China break free from tech dependence? Can it build a full high-end tech ecosystem under huge pressure? The real, often hidden answer is now clear. The combined breakthroughs of SMIC's silicon killer chips and Huawei's unstoppable innovation prove the old Western control over China's tech development is ending. Although the very newest chips still lag, China has met its strategic goals to reduce dependence and build strong self-reliance in key technologies. SMIC's ability to mass-produce advanced chips, no matter the cost or challenge, means China now has its own manufacturing lifeline. Huawei's Harmony OS 6.0 and massive investments in a fully independent software and enterprise ecosystem, along with their push for advanced chip design, come together in a powerful statement. Huawei's no to the West is no empty threat. It is a real, built reality based on years of strategy, science, and determination. China can now design, develop, and increasingly make its own high-end chips and build a fully independent tech stack for critical uses. This greatly cuts its exposure to outside control. This is more than market share. It's about technological sovereignty. It signals a future where the global tech world will be truly multipolar, changing power balances in ways we are just starting to understand. The silicon killer is here. The silent revolution driven by SMIC and Huawei has unleashed a new tech world order. Huawei's no to the West marks a historic turning point. What do you think about this huge change in China's tech power? How will it affect the global tech market and the ongoing tech cold war? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Also, tell us what other big shifts you want to explore next, whether it's the East-West tech battle, 
6G race, or something else. Your ideas help us bring you the most important stories. Thanks for watching. Stay alert, stay informed. We'll see you next time for another deep look into the future. Subscribe and join our community of thinkers, innovators, and changemakers.